Welcome London, Welcome America. Sussex hit with rocks as Oprah Winfrey intelligently flees scene after Harry and Meghan's interview backfires. This obvious confirmation from the Duchess of Sussex during her and her better half's eagerly awaited interview with Oprah Winfrey catches how press treatment of Meghan drove the couple's choice to move away from regal obligations. In the approach that meeting, with uncanny timing, harming tales about the couple have risen up out of the castle, which appears to be unmistakably shaken by the couple's assurance to stand up. Typically, these claims have been jumped all over by a British press that blossoms with revealing, and instigating, illustrious disunity. The earlier week, the Times broke a story that a harassing grievance had been held up against Meghan while she was inhabiting Kensington Palace. The objection had been made more than two years sooner, however illustrious assistants had just barely moved toward the Times to tell their side. These ideal releases incorporated the idea that Meghan was given hoops by the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed container Salman soon after the Saudi writer Jamal Khashoggi had been killed. A closet story considered adequately shocking to warrant a devoted tweet. Obviously, the Oprah interview is stressing minds. Where the press goes, some TV programs follow. Beth Syed, an individual from the Welsh Parliament tweeted an image of how ITV's Good Morning Britain, facilitated by Susanna Reid and Meghan pundit Piers Morgan, decided to cover the story, with a noteworthy image of four maturing white men on a Zoom call. Her going with text read, five men character killing a lady. No big surprise Meghan left the UK. As one writer put it, we're reaching the place where in the event that Meghan Markle were to take a posy proposed to her, the press would report it as, malicious touches takes blossoms from kid. This sort of instinctive aggression isn't new. At the point when Meghan sent off her legitimate activity against the Daily Mail in October 2019 for distributing a confidential letter that she kept in touch with her dad. Prince Harry alluded to Meghan as one of the most recent survivors of a British newspaper press that wages crusades against people without really considering the results, a merciless mission that has raised throughout the last year. He represented numerous casualties of Britain's poisonous newspaper culture when he proceeded, set forth plainly, it is harassing, which panics and quiets individuals. The explanations for the media's malevolence There are something like three motivations to clear up this obviously instinctive antagonism for the Sussexes. To start with, there are the lawful cases which the two royals have brought against the press and completely won. Last month, Harry won a conciliatory sentiment and significant harms from the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online for distributing bogus charges that he had walked out on the Royal Marines. 